Hi, I'm James Clem. The midline is a very important structure, strategic zone whenever you're doing any work on your restorations where you go to a midline or cross the midline. It's also a difficult place to finish because when your midline's on in a smile, it's on. With our current software, I am finding that there's two things in this software that's been updated that really helps me out. And that is the model axis, because you're gonna set your model axis up to your smile plane. So when you have your smile plane, you also have your vertical axis, right? And that's in the model screen one, where you set your model axis. Number two is the 2D grid, using your view options on your side panel, will allow you to set your model up to the smile plane. And when our model is set up to the smile plane, we can identify the vertical component of that midline. And it's really easy to design. So my process for easy design would be to choose either eight or nine. That's assuming that I'm crossing the midline. So when I'm crossing the midline, I'm either gonna choose eight or nine randomly. And I'm going to make that my plumb line central. So using the model axis, setting it up properly, using the 2D grid with view options to front, that will give me the position of my model to help me identify my vertical axis at the midline. So I'll finish the one central first and finish that interproximal contact using the 2D grid. And then I'll build the adjacent central midline to that plumb line of the first tooth I designed. And using that approach, by placing the contact in the proper location, creating that interproximal footprint. And we go over that in my uh, Mastering Aesthetic class to help people master this concept. It's amazing on how easy it is to do anterior ceramics. Now that we have incisal variation and setting your midline up, if you follow the rules, and they're easy rules to follow, you'll really be able to master that. So I'm gonna go through the basic steps I use to set my midline in the virtual design software. So when it mills, these restorations drop in, you don't have to adjust the interproximal zone and it really makes mastering the midline easy, <laughs> really easy. So let's go through that, that uh, process together.